Hey everyone, welcome to the Tech channel. Today we have a special video sponsored by DigitSpace. Thank you a lot. DigitSpace is an open source hardware provider. I think they just started their business. They have Arduino boards, Raspberry Pis, DIY kits, starter kits, robots, oh very interesting and reasonable price. Well, they were too kind to offer me a coupon and had to choose some stuff. They arrived today and it was very fast, about 5 working days. So let's check what we have here. Well, the packaging is really nice. Styrofoams. What we have here? I really forgot what I bought. So those are the products. So first thing to notice, they use a lot of plastics. should reduce it a little bit part number for example this is a GSA module this one I think is a temperature sensor this one is a humidity sensor other one is a proximity sensor this one I think is a capacitive buttons one two three four and the last one I don't know what is it forgot it yes I think it's a OLED screen Because I broke my other one, it's really nice. So those are the products I received, pretty much out of their plastic bag. Well, the winner of today is the Sharp Infrared Sensor, Proximity Sensor. You can see the full name on the screen, there are several versions. As you can see it has three wires, so one for the 5 volt and other one for ground last one is for an analog output we're gonna use it with our Arduino Uno as usual and we're gonna use it to measure the distance and why not use it with the OLED screen we just got it from digit space and of course all the wirings libraries and codes will be in the link right below you can check them the wiring is very easy as you can see the breadboard is completely optional you can wire it directly with the arduino but i'm using breadboard and some jump wires to not touch the module too much the module is over here so the output with a0 analog input ground with the ground and then 5 volt for the power Now we're gonna power the Arduino and check the library and code for the first test and it will be the example from the library. So first you need to download the library, you can find it in the link right below and here as usual you go to sketch, include library, add point zip library and you look for the file you just downloaded. Then you go to examples and here sharp IR master and here sharp sensor centimeters and it's this one the code works pretty much forward as you can see here it reads the distance from the sensor and it displays it on the serial monitor and also here it shows you the time needed to measure between uh, every two values 
and it's around 32 milliseconds it's very fast and here of course don't forget the model as here I'm using this one here you can find which one you should use and depending on your version this is the one I have and here as you can see this is the code I'll be using it's pretty much the same as the other one we define the pin for the data data from the sensor of course not the data over here and I'm using this string just to write distance equal and here we have the distance centimeter values as a string plus centimeter to display it on the serial monitor and avoid some long lines and now we're gonna upload the code and check how it works we open the serial monitor and here as you can see we have the distance in centimeter just don't forget you should check your range for this one it goes from uh, about 20 centimeters up to 120 centimeters the only problem with this module is that distance inferior to 20 centimeters it will show you some strange values as it will detect as 30 or 40 centimeters well we rearrange the angle a little bit so here as you can see the module and here I have a ruler for reference and here we're gonna test with the breadboard and I'm gonna measure about 20 centimeters as you can see here in the screen it's 23-24 it's not correct let me go shorter as you can see this is the only problem with the module at about under 20 centimeters it starts giving you some strange values let's go above like 25 about 25 it seems good uh, above 20 centimeters it seems very good 24 let's go a bit further I may be out of frame so it is around 30 maybe 29 yes it seems okay and now we're gonna use another code it includes the OLED screen that we just received and a push button you may have seen the same code before I used it with the VL53 LOX uh, time of flight sensor it also measures the distance but this time I use it with sharp infrared proximity sensor and here we have the libraries sharp IR library and for the OLED screen we've seen this before and here I just add the button we read the button from uh, the pin number two and here we have its state this data I'm not using it anymore so just remove it and here I have the state I'm gonna see later how it used and here we define our proximity sensor and the OLED display and here we've seen this before okay just to show that screen works you can add your name or something and or name it just infrared or why not digit space and here we read the distance distance centimeter it reads in centimeter from the sensor and here what this button do and we're gonna see it in the test it just switch between different units and here as usual I use millimeters centimeters and inches and in the first place it's read in centimeter so here just small multiplication you get the millimeters and here a small small division you get the inches it's very simple and the button just switch between them and every time we push the button and here don't forget I'm not using a pull down a resistor I'm using the pull up input pull up from the Arduino and here I'm um, when I press the button it goes low so it's simple thing I'm gonna see its wiring in the link below and every time we press we increase this state if it's bigger than uh, 3 it comes back to the 1 
So that's it, let's upload the code and test it. So this is uploaded and as you can see I'm using the OLED screen it's very simple we have a tutorial about that if you don't know how to use it just wire it with 3 volt and ground and then it's DA is here it's with A4 and A5 so the button is wired with the ground then it goes to pin number 2 and of course as usual the wiring and the codes will be in the link right below so here as you can see the distance is measured in millimeters and as usual if you are very close to the sensor it gives you strange values so it should be a bit far further than uh, 20 centimeters and of course if you press the button you can switch between units here we have centimeters and here for our fellow Americans inches so that's it for this module I hope you like it as you can see you can measure the distance easily and integrate it with your uh, OLED or in your project also you can switch between units it's very simple thanks again to Digispace for their sponsorship and I hope I'll upload projects about other modules you just saw me inbox as soon as possible stay tuned subscribe and like if you want if you have any problem or something you can put it in the comment or contact me on the facebook page from that see you next time